It's been several weeks since the Dukeridge rally at Donington. I drove over to the team bonus garage to ask Tone how he felt it went. He was clearly still buzzing. Um, but... What do you think of Tone as a driver? Oh, wow, ah, Babby. Uh, best driver in Forest Town, Babby. Well, I don't know. I've not seen him um, racing. No, I don't really know what to compare him to, but um, yeah, yeah, it should be good. Matt and when we were younger, Matt always used to say like that he was the uh, best driver in Forest Town. Tone was the hardest in Forest Town. He was the best driver in Forest Town. I don't remember when the tournament was, but um, but it was anyway. Uh, I think it's probably when he was about, what's the speed one, 40? Uh, probably when he was about 14 or been, been below maybe. We're here for the Hall Trophy at Blyton in Lincolnshire. It's the team's last chance to run the car before they enter their first ever championship in the new year. It's cold, foggy, and the stages are short, which is usually suited to the front-wheel drive hatchbacks, putting the heavy, underpowered Sierra at a disadvantage right from the start. Hi. So I got here uh, half six, and I got yeah. on here about 20 stuff. Yeah. We had to make a battery box with us to tell the uh, scooter to do. Scooter to two buckets, two buckets, two buckets, take together. <laughs> Stage one, nerves are there, but they get stuck in without too many issues. Except... Alright, well, nominal time, but it's time not working. Nominal? Uh, yeah, the time is not working. A carbon copy of Donington the previous month, Tone is immediately hit with a nominal time. This nearly always results in a slower time than would have been. Stage two and the brake bias valve requires a little tweak when the car threatens to be as tail happy as it had been before. Seems the stability problems are still there. The, the cold was against you all day that day because it was freezing fog and the fact that the tyres he got on needed to be warm. We were thinking four and a half miles at Donington. So right. just that extra bit makes all the difference. No, you can when you, when they're sliding, you can feel them like snatching, like trying to break away, and they're not. They're just like yeah. Uh, what's made? Yeah. Set started at 27. Um, they'll be up to about 31, 32 now with the heat and. By the time it's dropped, we'll be back down to 27, 28. I think, if I remember correctly, Jolly made some adjustments to the suspension, which made a difference. Made it. I think. I think. If I stand correct, I think he softened up the rear end and it made it a bit better off the line because he was having a lot of tramping issues.
By the mid-stages, and with the tyre pressures and brake bias valve set up, Tone and Craig begin to push the car through the fog, only occasionally dipping a toe over the limit. He's got, I mean, he's got adjustable springs, yeah. uh, but for ride art, he's also got adjustable pressures in his shock absorbers. Right. Well, they've been adjusted like turning them like half a turn each, but then they've come to the conclusion that they don't know that they were set equal when it came. Yeah. So I've got, got to go turn them so they're both um, to the stiffest setting. Yeah. Well, what one of them we think is about where he wants it, so we're going to turn that one, count how many times we have to turn yeah. it, and then set the other one the same. Right. So you push down on the back, and the right hand side bounces a lot more than the left. I mean, it's a lot better now than it was before, but... Yeah. Having tended to the suspension on the Sierra, Johnny promptly turns his attention to testing the boundaries of food hygiene. By early afternoon, Tom was getting the hang of it, still pushing hard and still pushing the limit of the Sierra's unpredictable grip, but this time the car responds much better when that limit is hit. Craig realises they're about to miss the split, which would force the pair into another costly lap. Sure, split now. Back in service, the team assessed the damage, but are clearly pleased with the progress of the handling compared to four weeks ago. Went over a case, but the barrel, the board, and... Oh, good, I think handles a lot better as well, though. Yeah. You control it, it was sideways all the way around. Big difference. The way it was at Donington, there's no way it would have survived that. Really? But, um, well, to be fair, you won't get around here. Not that stage, the way it was set. That is still good. Yeah. So, with the newfound confidence, Tone and Craig get quicker, catching others much sooner on the stages. Um, and we were watching Tone 
and the horn was going, he's overtaking things, we're all getting enthusiastic, he's cracking on. And then all of a sudden the tone of the engine changed and back came the tone limping around with his flat tyre. Again, if he didn't push and he wasn't trying, then he wouldn't go off. So it's all right to say he came round and never went off a trap, but then he would be, never be trying, would he, so? Did you get flat? Well, well, yeah. You can't plough a field unless you've got a flat tyre. If I had to go a flat tyre, would it be? More positive. Okay, then we'll get out of it. Luckily, it's just a tyre that came off the rim, when Tone had the front on the track and the rear in a field. <laughs> Tone climb from 72nd to 43rd. It's a massive confidence boost, and Team Bonus have now made it two finishes from two rallies. Now, though, the team have to prepare to mount their championship challenge that begins in just a few months' time. As fun as this has all been, the hard work and battles start now. We three kings of Orient God damn it, daddy.